My friends, we do have time for an intro here because this is it. The last video of required course content for the AP exam. Thank you all for sticking with me through this journey. If you want to stay in the loop on what I do next, follow my Instagram. Also, if you have found this content to help you at all this year, and would like to support me in a more involved way, consider becoming a channel member by pressing the join button. But for now, for the last time, let's get into it. We've talked about how polar functions work, how to convert between coordinate systems, and how to graph different polar shapes. But what does it actually mean for a polar function to increase or decrease? Think of the polar function r equals f of theta like a moving point on a graph. If r is positive and increasing, the point moves away from the origin. If r is negative and decreasing, the point also moves away because it's flipping direction. If r is positive and decreasing, the point moves toward the origin. If r is negative and increasing, the point also moves toward the origin. If r changes from increasing to decreasing or vice versa, that means the function reaches an extremum, which is a maximum or minimum. The average rate of change of r with respect to theta is just how fast the radius is changing per unit of theta. If the rate is positive, the radius is increasing. If the rate is negative, the radius is decreasing. Think of it like driving a car on a circular track. How fast you're moving outward or inward depends on the rate of change of r. You can use the average rate of change to estimate values of r within an interval. It's just like finding the slope of a normal function, except now it tells you how fast the radius is changing per radian. And that's it, the last piece of AP pre-calculus content. On the screen now are some AP style questions for this topic. And as you answer them, once again, thanks for everything and all of the support for this course. Consider checking out my second channel in the description. But here are your answers. I will hopefully see you on one of my socials. It has been an honor. Bye bye.